Hey everybody, Fat Bird Finds here. I'm Mary Beth, and unfortunately, Laura is not with me today. She is considered an essential employee by her work, so she's at work this afternoon, so you just get me today. So I know a lot of you are thinking, Mary Beth, didn't you guys already put out your Friday video? And you're right, we did. We did put out our video this morning, but tonight we are participating in a challenge. So George, the antique nomad, has extended an invitation for us to participate in this show off your bunker challenge. So the idea is to kind of show where we're hunkered down during this quarantine to give you a little bit of a tour. And so that's what I'm gonna do today. So I'm gonna take you inside my living room and just kind of show you around and show you what I've been up to these two and a half weeks. So here we go. Okay, so heading in my front door from my front porch, um, here we go. So this house was built in 1914. It's in a historic revitalization neighborhood. Um, oh, hey Dixie, there's my little beagle Dixley. She's a good girl. Oh, and there's Bood, the cat. He's kind of antisocial, but he's hanging out with us today. So again, this is in a historic revitalization neighborhood. Um, this used to be a boarding house, actually. So there were several uh, rooms in here and one main living area. This house was dilapidated several years ago, and it was recently restored. And when I saw this, I just fell in love with it. So this is just kind of an overview of the living area, the dining area, and the kitchen. So the first piece that I wanna share with you on this tour is this little hi-fi. So Laura knew that I wanted a hi-fi, a little record player several years ago, and this piece came through her mom's store. For those of you who don't know, Laura's mom owns an antique store here in Paducah, and this little record player came through the store. It was built in 1969, and Laura bought that for me for my birthday several years ago, and I love it. Oh, my clock is next. I love this clock. Um, the show Mad Men that used to be on AMC is one of my favorite shows of all time. And in that show, Joan, one of the main characters, had this clock in her office. And ever since I saw that, I just fell in love with it. And I have searched high and low all over the place for that clock. And I finally found it on eBay a few months ago. And I'm just so pleased with it. And I love it so much. So the next thing that I wanna show off is my art. So I am a big collector and a big fan of circus and carnival themed art and prints. And it just so happens that there is a really great uh, printmaker in Nashville, Tennessee called Hat Show Print. Hat Show was founded in 1879 and they're actually still in business today. Um, they use um, the same process as they did in the 1800s with their letterpress and wood blocks, and they just have some really, really great things. Not only do they do circus prints, they also do music and other art prints as well. If you're ever in Nashville, you definitely need to check them out. All right, so moving right along, let's go into a different section here and show you some other things. Hopefully I won't make you too dizzy here with this little spin move. So I just wanted to focus on this little bookshelf for a minute and show you some things, little trinkets and collectibles. I like to change them out every once in a while and try to keep it fresh. So currently I've got uh, some little horses here. Those came from my dad. Those were his when he was a kid. I just acquired those recently from him. These little pins and this ball, these are a vintage carnival game. I got those at a flea market in Nashville, and I was excited that they, you know, kind of go with my circus decor. And then this piece came off of a case tractor. This was purchased on eBay. My family, we are farmers, so, and we have case equipment, so I was excited to find that as well. So next on the tour is probably something that you've seen also if you've watched very many of my videos, and that is my bar area. So in one of our previous videos, we talked about how we made this bar, actually. I'll link that video down below. But what I want to talk about is this screen door grill that came off of my great aunt's door. Um, I got that off of her door several years ago, and I'm really glad that I did. I love things that make me remember family members, and that one is definitely one that makes me remember her. So then over to my piano, this was bought for me by my parents when I was young. I had lessons when I was a kid. Also on that piano, you can see my paint by numbers that I have yet to finish. Okay, so on to the kitchen. There you can see my grandmother's Mary Mushroom canisters. I've actually got tons of stuff above my cabinet, some new, some old. Um, there is an old oil lamp, a flour sifter. I really like that piece. 
that picture is modern. Uh, those uh, pieces right there are actually wine decanters that you put ice in to keep like white wine chilled. So that's kind of interesting. Those were found at a local thrift shop here in Paducah. These are really interesting. These are some old tin pie plates that were thrifted here at a local antique store. I really liked those because of the wording on them. Very kitchen-esque, uh, the words on there. I really wish that I knew more about them. Obviously, one of them says New England. <laughs> That's definitely not from around here. But those are really cool, and we bought that rack to display those on as well, along with the mason jars. Next item that I really love, these were my grandmother's end tables that she had in her living room for the longest time. Then she put them in her basement and they were in really bad shape. So I got them out of there, dug them out, refinished them, and now they're in my house to enjoy. Okay, so I've saved my favorite item for last. Unfortunately, you can't see all of it because I am working from home. So these are my units from work. Um, I am not as essential as Laura is, so that is why I have turned my dining room table into my office for the time being. Okay, so this table is made of tiger oak. This belonged to my great-great-grandmother. Hey, Misty, she lived in Indiana, but this table is from Pennsylvania, so I'm told. So the feet are hand-carved. They're in really good condition to be as old as they are. This really nice column in the middle, you know, leads up to these spindles that go up to the table. I've never actually seen one just like this. So if you have any information or know more about it, I would love to know more about this table. Again, I think that those spindles on the side are kind of rare for this type of table. It doesn't exactly go with my decor, but I absolutely love it in this house. So I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Thank you so much to George the Antique Nomad for letting us participate in this challenge. Please watch all the other videos in the playlist. Um, if you're not subscribed to our channel already, please consider doing so. Like this video, leave us a comment below, and stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time.